Hello, and thank you for joining this short video on best practices in cash flow management, one of the most critical aspects of running a business. Let's look at some best practices. First of all, it's smart to set targets. Having targets, such as your break-even point, which means the amount of sales you have to generate in order to be able to pay all of your bills is a smart way to do business. Of course, that's the minimum target you want to set. You want to make much more profit than that, but still set cash targets to ensure you have the cash reserves available to generate the profit that you want in your business. And make this part of the culture. This is not just the domain of the leadership or the management team or the founders or the shareholders. Everyone should have an interest in minimizing costs where possible and maximizing revenues where they can. Why not incentivize people to come up with great ideas or even better to implement those ideas in your business? And always hold some cash reserves. Business is unpredictable and the world is unpredictable and we need something that we can use on those rainy days. Some companies actually have policies on this and ensure that they never have cash less than, let's say, three times the monthly payroll amount in their cash reserves. And even though you wanna be a really well-reputed business in terms of how you pay your bills, that doesn't mean you shouldn't go negotiate the most favorable payment terms. If your vendor says they'd like you to pay in 10 days, maybe you can pay in 30 days or 45 days or even 60 days. They wanna keep your business right, so negotiate to get the best payment terms to free as much cash in your business as you can. And likewise, try to get your customers to pay as early as possible. This is partly based on your processes. You need to generate invoices quickly. You need to follow up on those invoices quickly. But it's also about incentivizing your customers. Perhaps if you give them special offers for early payment, they may respond to that, and that'll give you access to valuable cash you otherwise wouldn't have. And remember, there are many, many accounting tools out there to give you better visibility into your cash position now and in the future. Some of them relate to accounts payable and accounts receivable. Some of them are reporting tools. Some of them are forecasting tools. Some of them integrate with your banks. But make sure you use these tools because we can't rely exclusively on people and their memories to go out and get the best result for our business as we manage cash. And from time to time, people will owe you money and you'll need to chase up that debt. So do this persistently and do it with process and be ready to take the necessary actions that will secure the repayment of that debt. Some debtors will pay, play you along and not really expect to pay and hope that you'll eventually go away. Show them that you're persistent and that you expect to recover your, your cash. And remember, you don't have to be an expert in business modeling or planning or building spreadsheets or accounting or finance. What you need to think about is the assumptions which underpin your business around revenue and costs. And your accountant should challenge you on those and make sure you come up with the most robust set of assumptions which can help you forecast what cash you will have at any time in the future. So talk to your accountant about this. Get the most out of your accountant on this really, really important issue. Thanks for spending time with us today and best of luck to you with cash flow management. See you on the next video.